Hey folks, it's Joshua with Burning Chair Cigar Reviews. Doing another unboxing, but since I'm only working with one hand, I've already removed it from said box. Uh, it actually comes packaged in a, um, or it comes sent in a vinyl type drawstring bag, which is actually quite nice. This is a leather travel cigar humidor from Monop. I might be butchering the pronunciation, but I do apologize. I will be posting the link in the video description down below. Let's see what we've got inside. As you can see, you have two nice little compartments for... It's got some good rigidity to it. It's actually... This has got some heft to it. It's nice. Uh, as you can see, you've got compartments for a cutter um, and a lighter. Um have a hygrometer here and that actually is magnetic so that's that's nice usually I use bova to packs and just toss one in there with something like this but the options there and speaking of bova to packs um, this thing does also have instructions so if you have questions please read set instructions on care and maintenance and how to set everything up it's uh very simplified, very detailed instructions. It looks like we've got some goodies in here. Let's see what we've got. This includes a cigar punch, a common. Oop! Sorry, I did not mean to fall. A combination uh, single guillotine cutter with a V cut on the back side, or most people call it a notch cutter, V cutter, uh, what have you. Um, oh, there's even more stuff in here. A um, stainless steel cigar rest, so that if you're smoking your cigar, you got to run inside, you can set your cigar down, you know, whichever. Now, the actual humidification unit is here at the bottom. Uh, this does come out. Let's see if I can get this on camera. This comes out. There is um, fluorofoam inside here. There's the uh, Monarch logo. Um, I believe that's either fluorofoam or it might be uh, beads. And of course, you do have a included dropper for hydrating that with solution. Now, as far as this goes the construction is great uh, and yes it is uh, now I'm sorry that was not floor foam my mistake that was actually uh, styrofoam inside there um, yeah that was strange um, bear with me a moment this is in fact a I'm guessing some sort of PVC foam uh, for solution. Now, honestly speaking, I would not use this particular piece of foam. What I would do is take some beads and fill that. And as you can see, it pops right back in place. Or if you're self inclined, just toss a boat pack in here and call it a day. That's just my honest opinion of it. Now let's see. It's got good snaps to it. Good closure. And there's actually plenty of room in here for your accessories, cutter, lighter, etc. Now let's see about the cigar capacity itself. Now the tray itself does come out. I believe no it does not so it is in there that you cannot remove that and try to add extra storage um, I have in my hand here a La Roma de Cuba El Jefe which is 7 by 56 let's see how it fits in one of the slots um, description on the site says one inch in diameter for the slot or one inch of cross, excuse me. 
Um, cigar fits just fine. Actually, there's a slight bit of wiggle room, so you can easily fit a 64 ring gauge in here. Now, as far as putting a 64 ring gauge in here, I don't know if I would recommend that. Simply because you have this stuff up here with your cutter, your lighter, and once you close this, you don't want to damage your cigars. That's the deal. Um, otherwise, construction-wise, great stitching. Um, it's got a fair amount of heft to it. Um, it's not overly heavy or anything like that, but... As I stated, you know, with the accessories, you can fit your average lighter in here and your average cutter. I wouldn't recommend trying to put a table lighter in this thing, of course. I don't know why you would be, but, you know, to each their own. But, and once again, the uh, product company is uh, Monop. And I will post their shop link in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. Y'all have a wonderful day. Stay smoky, my friends.